Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Blackwell and today I have a very exciting announcement plus a giant historical romance book unboxing. Today is a super exciting day because I have a couple of giant boxes of books to unbox for you. I have been reading a lot of historical romance lately and I decided to get a mystery box, not to mention my good friend Maggie from Maggie's Books and Stuff, number one, sent me a big old book of historical romances that she thought I might like, and, 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 we have a huge announcement for a readathon that is going to be hosted in August by Maggie from Maggie's Books and Stuff. So before we get into everything, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you do so. All of my social media is linked down below in the description, including my Goodreads, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to click the like button, comment down below, and let me know what team you're going to be on. Uh, spoiler alert, it better be the Wallflower team. And let me know which one of these books you think I should prioritize. So, like I said, Maggie is going to be hosting a month-long readathon called the Romance Readathon all month long in August. This is going to be a team-based readathon. It's going to be competitive. And the goal of this readathon is for you to find your match. The points you receive will determine who you will be matched up with, whether it be an Earl, a Viscount, a Duke, etc. That will all be determined based on how many points you receive in the month of August. I'm going to leave most of the nitty gritty details to Maggie, so make sure you click the link down below in the description to Maggie's Books and Stuff's announcement because she's going to have all the important information for you. I am just going to be basically doing a very quick overview so that you can know just the general basics. So number one, the teams. So there are going to be five teams for you to choose from. You should pick the Wallflower team because I am going to be the co-host for the Wallflower team along with Maggie from Maggie's Books and Stuff. But there are eight other co-hosts that are leading up four other teams. So we have the Hoydens and they are headed up by April and Lisa. The Protectors, which are headed up by Joanna and B. Next, we have the Seductresses, which are headed up by Tiffany and Crystal. The Blue Stockings, which are headed up by Patricia and Daphne. And finally, the Wallflowers, which is obviously going to be the best team. And that's headed up by me and Maggie. Like I said, this is going to be a month-long readathon. It's going to be taking place from August 1st to August 31st. This whole readathon is Bridgerton themed, which is super cool. So you get extra points for reading romance, extra points for reading historical romance, and extra points for reading BIPOC or LGBTQIA plus authors. Finally, you will get points just for reading a book. So you can literally get points for reading any book. Your points are based on the number of pages that you have read. All of that's going to be explained on this points page right here. So oh, with that being said, that means that you could read any genre that you wish, but you do get extra points for reading romance and then extra, extra points for historical romance. Not to mention, there are going to be extra social media challenges for you to gain additional points. So all you really have to do is sign up for the readathon. The sign up form is going to be linked down below. And then once the readathon starts, you just begin to track your points on the tracker, which will be accessible in the Google Drive as well as the Discord. All the social media for the readathon is going to be linked down below in the description as well. So basically anything for the readathon that you need is going to be down there. And there is a Discord for this readathon as well. Maggie has put so much amazing work into this readathon. It's really so cool to see how freaking creative she has been. There are society papers that give you like weekly information about how your character is doing. All of the points are really cool. The challenges are freaking cool as well. And I'm just so excited to, to dive into this readathon and dive into more historical romances. My goal is to read a lot of wallflower themed romances just for fun for this readathon. Like I said, you don't have to, you can read anything, but I just want to take it an extra step further and try to read as many wallflower romances that I can. Honestly, one of my favorite historical romance tropes so far is the wallflower rake duo. And so I do want to read many more. So I probably missed like a whole bunch of information for the readathon. So that's why I said make sure to go check out Maggie's announcement video for this readathon after you are done watching this video. 
Now, let's get into the unboxings. So because I have like no chill, I have been getting into historical romance, so I decided let's get in the mystery box of 20 historical romance books from eBay. I also have a box from Maggie. I have opened it. I know what's in there, but I have no chills. So I'm going to open the mystery box first, and then I'm going to go through all the books that Maggie so kindly gifted me because they are freaking amazing, but I already know they're amazing, so I'm not stressed out about it. I'm not like, oh my gosh, what if they suck? I know they're all amazing. I've locked, I've looked through them. I'm excited to show them to you. Some really good setbacks too. So I'm gonna go through the surprise mystery box first because I'm really stressed out about it. So this is the box. I almost thought I wouldn't be able to share this with you guys today because um, it wasn't here and it literally showed up. It literally showed up right before I started filming this. So with these, like you can end up with duplicates. Like you can't pick what's in them. And I, they're actually pre, um, packed. So like there's some companies you can actually request themes and stuff and they'll pack it and they'll actually do certain tropes or certain things that you want. If you want like Viking romances, they'll put in extra Viking romances, that kind of thing. This one is pre packed. So I had no control. Ooh, it's good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay so I don't know anything about any of these um but I love step X and this one has a gorgeous one this is Madeline Hunter's by arrangement and look at the step back beautiful Ooh, Lady Christiana Fitzwarren was not opposed to marriage, but she demanded to be married on her own terms. Not a punishment for a romantic indiscretion, and especially not to a common merchant. Um, so I think this is medieval royalty. Um, this looks amazing. I'm going to have to go through these faster. This video is going to be way too long. Ooh. Aileen Putman, never trust a rake. There's no step back on this one, but the cover is beautiful. An air, the arrogant rogue and the determined reformer. This is good. This is probably Regency. That's what it looks like. A kiss to dream on by Stephanie Mittman, Mittman. Okay, so it's got a step back, but the step back's like not anything really. Um, ooh, so she was left pregnant and alone at the altar. Gideon risked his reputation as deputy sheriff of Granite, Montana. So this is a Western. This is a um, American Western romance. Okay. Kathleen Woodowis, Catherine Anderson, Loretta Chase, Lisa Klepis. Weddings and a kiss. So I think this is a bind up. And these are some really good authors for a bind up. I've heard really good things about um, Kathleen Woodowis and I love Lisa Claypas so far. I've heard great things about Loretta Chase. That looks really good. Um, Elaine Barbieri, Hawks Prize. Ooh, so um, this looks like a Southern historical, maybe like a Southern American historical, possibly it talks about Galveston. So yeah, got that one. So this one is Sacagawea. Um, it looks like it's a historical. Um, yeah, I think this is actually a historical, maybe. I'm going to have to look this one up. The cover is beautiful but I hope they do the representation well. Um, but I'm not sure if this is actually a romance because it doesn't say that it is. It says it's a heroic saga. Um, so I think it's like historical fiction, possibly. So Joanne Power, Never Say Never. Um, and it says, Augusta Vanderhorn knows too much about scandal as the younger sister of the infamous American beauty, Colleen Vanderhorn, who was wed to British Lord Bryce Falconer and was divorced for adultery. It's been hard for Gus to avoid taint. I guess she goes by Gus then. 
now is embroiled in scandal herself. She's kidnapped her own child from his father to hold him for ransom to support her latest lover. This sounds crazy. This sounds like a whole hell of a lot of drama. I don't know. I don't know. Um, the Forest Lord, Suzanne Crenard. This is a first edition because it's got the embossing. Um, after a night of heated passion six years ago, Eden Fleming made the shattering discovery that the man she was about to marry was, um, was no mortal. He was a monster, a woodland guardian spirit named Lord Hearn who needed an heir to end the exile that had imprisoned upon, been a, imprisoned upon him. Ooh, is this kind of like a Beauty and the Beast retelling? I love it. Historical fantasy, like romance or historical paranormal romance counts for this readathon. So that might be a good one. Katie Madison. This one is a first edition too because it's got embossing and it's really pretty cover. All about seduction. It says Carolina Broadhurst is about to take a lover at her husband's command. For 15 years, Carolyn has done everything her much older husband has desired except provide an heir. Now he has given her an ultimatum, seduce a suitable gentleman and bear a son. Caroline would never think of bowing to such a shameful order, but then she makes Jack Applegate. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Next, I have Amanda Scott, Border Storm. Um, this is, um, let's see, a daughter of a Scottish March warden. Oh, so it's Scottish. Um, she, Lori knew life would be treacherous in the borders, but when the English accused her of, when the English accused her runaway stepsister of murder, Lori pledged herself as hostage until the truth could be uncovered. That is honestly one of my favorite tropes, like captor captive. Ooh, and it's Scottish. Okay, this one, um, definitely need to read. That looks really good. Ooh, this cover. Oh, Deceptive Heart. <gasps> Ooh, and the back, there's a freaking sticker, but I gotta take the sticker off. But as you can see, like, look at that. And it's all the way wrap around. And the color, pink. This is gorgeous. He came to her in the darkness of midnight, a stranger hired to perform an outrageous act. Before the night was through, he must sire a child upon the virginal widow of the wealthy Earl of Highcrest. Okay. Oh my gosh. If he would master her senses, bringing her to a fever pitch of desire that would burn through the lies between them. Oh my gosh. This looks like it needs to be read. It needs to be read immediately. This one is Helen Mittmeyer, The Veil. It is also a first edition and it's embossed. Ooh, a Scottish. Cloistered at a Mediterranean convent, Mary of the Cross, talented sculptress Fiona MacDonald hid behind a veil. She defied convention by choosing art over marriage. Mm. A fearless adventurer. Einar Thor, Thor sailed the Swan Road seeking Christian. You know what? Like I can, I can't read this right now. That's not gonna happen. That's fine. Um, this looks like a western. Kathleen Kane, Catch a Fallen Angel. Possibly like a newer historical western. I'm not sure. Yeah, cowboy, cowboy, simple magic. Wait, no, those are other. I don't know. I'm not super into Westerns. Colleen Corbet, Dark Eyes. Ooh, this one's first edition too. It's got the embossing. Um, she appears to him like a vision out of a dream. In his delirious fate, he is convinced she is stealing his young child. What's all this like stealing of children things going on in these? Um, but the cover is really pretty. So far, honestly, I feel like this is pretty good. I mean, it could be better, could be worse. Um, ooh, medieval. I really like medieval, you know? 
it's, and it's got like a really pretty back cover so I've never heard of this though my lady knight hmm. Joanne power the night nightingale's song um the dragon is coming for Claire countess of Trent for years Claire secretly the nightingale writer of heroic adventures has fought being wed to a man of King Henry's choosing okay so this is medieval and the heroine is actually an author and I think that's that's a pretty that's pretty cool I like that synopsis Ooh, this is a pretty cover beyond all measure by Melon K that's the cover um I think that this is a Regency It's got a really pretty cover. I wonder if that originally had a step back. Tender Victory, Susan Massius. Um, this is a Western. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I'll get into Westerns, you know. Betrayed. Like, I guess I did really like, I liked that Beverly Jenkins book that I read and that was a Western. So maybe. Um, so forced to play pauper in an England wrecked by war, American Eleanor Wallace vowed to help her country in any way she could. Yet the intrigue was becoming difficult for she had somehow lost her heart to the formidable Duke of Ryland, a man who would never forgive her for what she'd done. So she's like some kind of spy and it's a romance with a duke. Ooh, this one's pretty. A Love Too Proud by Kathy Kellick. This has got a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Um, colonial. So this is set on a colonial tobacco form. So colonial south east, maybe. Interesting. I really like the dogwood on the back. Okay. So I feel like that was pretty successful for my first ever. I think next time I'm going to try, there is another one that I can use that you can actually choose like tropes or you can say like what authors you'd really like to see in the box. It's not a rec, like it's not like you're not necessarily going to get those authors in the box, but if they can, they will. But like, I honestly think that this turned out really, really well. Um, and I have some new authors now to look up that I've never heard of. Not to mention, it's really fun to open a mystery box because it feels like, like it's the one thing you cannot spoil yourself for. Like if you buy your, if you buy yourself a gift, like you know what it is. Real quick, I do have this, um, and this is two books that I ordered from Thrift Books, and it should be the first two books in the Dark Hunter, um, series, which is like a favorite series of mine by Sherilyn Kinian, but I, I'm starting to try to collect all the books for it so oh this is good quality okay so I've got night pleasures and this is the first book um and I adore this book so much these are really good um quality there's like a little bit of like creasing but other than that and this is night and brace this is the second book in the series so those are in really good um, condition, which is exciting. If you are looking for a paranormal romance series to get into, I highly recommend this series. Um, it's about like there's vampires and lichens and just shifters and it is an urban paranormal romance series and each book follows a different set of characters. Okay, so let's get into the box that Maggie sent me, which is this box right here. Um, first I have to show you the bookmarks that she got me. Well, she didn't get me. She made them for me. So these are the bookmarks that she made. This is the, like a garter and it's got this really, it's got like a pearl at the bottom. So it's like a garter belt and that's so freaking gorgeous. And then she also made this one, which has this really pretty, like charm at the at the bottom of it and it's like my favorite color of green it's gorgeous 
Um, I'm, I'm fully obsessed. Like, I feel like this is going to be my Christmas bookmark for sure. So she made those. So thank you so much, Maggie. I actually cried when I opened them because <laughs> I'm a nerd like that. And I'm a Cancer Sun and I'm a Pisces Moon. So I cry at everything, no matter what. Maggie actually was getting rid of some Julia Quinn books because she's not the biggest Julia Quinn fan. So I lucked out and I got three books. Um, I know this is the third one. This is the next one I'm going to be reading in the Bridgerton series. So this is an author, an author, an author, an offer from a gentleman, which is awesome. And then I'm not sure which ones are which. Romancing Mr. Bridgerton is the next one that she sent. And that has this gorgeous, gorgeous step back. This is about Colin. And then there's two Sir Philip with love. And that is the step back for that one. She also sent me the next book in Cast the Castles Ever After a series by Tessa Dare. And she had the freaking step back for it. Look at that. That is my favorite Tessa Dare step back ever. It is absolutely to die for. And I have adored every book in this series so far. I highly recommend this series. It is so good. Um, yeah. She also sent me this book, Mary Jo Putney, by, name, by Mary Jo Putney called No Longer a Gentleman. Um, and I don't know anything about this. It looks like the hero has spent time in a dungeon after some espionage in France and the heroine rescues him. That sounds amazing. So is this set in France? I would be like, I would freak out if it was set in France. That's amazing because obviously if you guys didn't already know, I studied in France. I majored in French. This is an absolutely gorgeous book by Eloisa James called Duchess by Night. And look at this freaking step back come on this would go really nicely with that bookmark <laughs> um and then i got Anne anna campbell's the claiming the court claiming the courtesan i think this is one of the ones that this is like one of her favorites yeah i think this is one of um maggie's favorite authors um and it doesn't have a step back but has a back cover that's freaking gorgeous um, I don't know what that one's about. And also another Anna Cam oh, there's three Anna Campbells in here. They all have a fucking gorgeous, sorry, excuse me, French. They all have super gorgeous step backs. Um, the first one is My Reckless Surrender. Look at this step back. Like, look at that step back. Seriously. Ooh, and it's about a rake. Yes. I love a good rake romance. Um, and then a rake's midnight kiss, another rake romance. Ooh, it looks like there's a thief. Who's the thief? Is the guy or the girl? Well, anyway, um, so this one also. Oh, it looks like the hero is like a thief who's been trying to steal from the heroine. Um, and so I guess that's how they meet, maybe. Anyway. Um, this looks awesome. And then another favorite author of Maggie's is Victoria Alexander. And this is a little bit wicked. And check out the step back. That does look quite wicked. And the red, all the red is gorgeous. Um, and so this one looks very good. And Lindsay Sands. I have a couple of Lindsay Sands, but I don't have this one. And I really want to try a more Highlander romance and like medieval romances. I love this cover actually. And the step back is a two page step back spread, but it's like a, um, what's that called? Like a portrait spread. Gorgeous. Um, so yes to more Highlander romances. Finally, I've got an Amanda Quick Wicked Widow. I've never read an Amanda Quick before, but I would like to try some uh, some of her writings. So 
Thank you so much to Maggie for sending me this box. Cannot wait to read all of these. And I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I just had a ton of fun going through all of these with you. Let me know who are you going to be for Maggie's readathon. Are you going to be on my team, Team Wallflower? Because obviously that's the one you should be picking. Um, but all fun. All the teams are awesome. And I hope you join us in August. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. All of my social media is linked down below, including my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter, as well as the Discord that me and Maggie host together called The Hideaway, and all the information for the readathon as well. Don't forget to check out Maggie's announcement video for the readathon. And until next time, fellow readers, keep reading and living your best life. Cause you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah.